You know, I may not be God. But I have made a viral, profitable, and somewhat critically acclaimed no-budget feature film. And I'm pretty sure that's the next best thing. Therefore, here are my 10 commandments for no-budget filmmaking for thy films to be blessed. Commandment number one, thou shalt record clean dialogue. Do you want to hear what sinning sounds like? Echo is a sin. Low volume. Muscle dialogue. Dialogue that's so loud that it clips is a sin. So find a way to fix it. You know, a boom guy, wireless labs, ADR. Just take pride in your dialogue audio because if you don't, and I don't know how to say this nicely, you're going to burn it. Hell! And while you're down there, nobody's gonna watch your film because everybody's gonna turn it off in the first five minutes when it sounds like that. Okay, all right. Great, commandment number two. Thou shalt have a story worth telling. And let me just say, the fact that this is commandment number two should tell you how sh** y'all's audio is in the no budget world. Clean it up. Okay, will you get an emotional reaction? Will people think? Will the audience lean in? Will they tell their friends about it later? Be real with yourself and answer these questions. Commandment number three, thou shalt ask many favors and thou shalt give many favors. Have no dignity, beg, plead, get those favors because the favor isn't for you. It's for the movie baby. And the movie baby can't starve. So get that movie baby that favor breast milk. Get that baby some favor breast milk. And if you aren't giving as many favors as you are receiving, then you're doing it wrong. And you will very soon run out of favors to receive and of course you will burn an eternal hellfire. So yes, if your first AC is making their own film, you should be volunteering on that. Commandment number four, thou shalt not spend most of thy budget on the camera. Nobody cares about your red camera if your movie is boring as You know, with no budget, your 8K cinematography is not gonna be what makes your movie worth watching. So you should instead focus your attention and resources and money on the things that are really telling your story. Your cast, your crew, your locations, your sound. See commandment number one, take precedence over, bro, I'm shooting it on a red. Commandment number five, thou shalt seek out objective feedback on the script. You know, brilliant, experienced, professional Hollywood screenwriters are in Los Angeles right now writing awful scripts every single day. Do you really think that your first draft is perfect? that you will find every flaw in it? Wrong! Sinner! Evil! Sinner! Get as much feedback as you can from the people you trust most. Put your ego aside. Commandment number six, thou shalt over prepare. In the production of your film, anything that can go wrong will go wrong. Murphy's Law. But I made Murphy so my law. Since you can't spend money to fix most of the problems that will inevitably rise in the production of your film, you need to be overprepared. It's the only way you can protect your film from all the little and big and gigantic things that are gonna go wrong. All right, where are we? Commandment number seven. Thou shalt seek out objective feedback on the edit. See commandment number five. So don't rush the edit. Show someone, get their feedback, watch them watch the film. Repeat the process with a different person as the edit progresses. That's how you get a good edit. Commandment number eight, thou shalt keep it short and sweet. First of all, the shorter the film, that means the more money went into each minute of it. So you're basically raising the production value of your film just by making it shorter. And second of all, as a movie watcher, I might risk uh, 84 minutes of my life on a no budget drama that looks interesting. Uh, I won't risk a whole lot more than that, to be honest. Short, sweet, home to eat, I'll take my chances, but making a no budget film that's long is just the definition of like high risk, low reward. Commandment number nine, thou shalt not do opening credits. Come on, we don't even know who you are. Do you think the average viewer of your $2,000 zombie feature film wants to know who your associate producer was? Really, these opening credits for a no budget film are just for you, the filmmaker, and uh, it's not for your audience. So unless you have Samuel L. Jackson, your cast, skip the opening credits. Because it's for your audience, right? It's not for you. Right? Right. And finally, commandment number 10, the one that might be the most important to a lot of people, depending on what day and what time you ask them. Thou shalt feed thy flock, and thy flock is your cast and crew. Feed your cast and crew is what I'm saying. With commandment number 10. They're making your movie. So I know you don't have any money, but maybe you can move some things around, squeeze in a burrito bowl for the grip. I mean, the least you can do when you think about it. Chipotle rules. 
Hey, you know how normal commandments go up to 10? My commandments go up to 11. Commandment number 11 is subscribe, bitch. And check out these other helpful filmmaking tips. You only live once. Well, you didn't hear me say that. <sighs> I hope I don't go to hell for this video.